Welcome to episode 176. I am their host, Alpha Mike, transmitting high atop of Florida's peninsula. Today we are going to talk about sea legs. That's right. People that actually know what they're doing. Short podcast, not going to be very long because um, we're still on uh, the Happy Holiday Festival celebration things. It is actually January 1st, so noted as a Happy New Year. And everybody made their resolutions, and they're going to stick to them until, of course, they forget them, and then they won't have them, and then they'll deny they ever had one in the first place. So, with that being said, 2021, you don't have to make any New Year's resolutions. You have to make a change of life resolution. It should last every day of your life to be a better person. And then you wouldn't have to make any resolutions. But that's a long story, and we might not have a lot of time. Minneapolis Police Department recently had a shooting on December 30th, and it was sad looking at the chief of police stuttering like a, like a stammering fool, shaking in his boots because they're scared that the commies are going to come and burn their city down. It's awful. It's awful to lead with no courage. That's all I could say. And speaking of courage... The word of the week always gives us the courage to continue. And it's time for the word of the week. Continuing with the book of Titus, chapter 3. Today we look at verse 7 and 8 in our continuous saga. That having been justified by his grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of his eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and these things I want you to affirm consistently, that those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable to men. And as always, you can continue listening to uh, this word and what it meant, what what I read, and I will break it down for you in less than 15 minutes on Test Everything 1521. All you have to do is go to RadarCopNation.com, look up the section that says Test Everything, and you can hear it. Test Everything. Everything 1521 is also on Apple Podcast and Spotify and just Google the thing and you'll find it somehow. So as we continue, it's time. Here's the cannon. All right, we're today, episode 176, we are going to talk about sea legs, people that know what they do, what what to do, and how to do it. Before we get to that, we're going to break it down. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about the upcoming shows that are coming and uh, our guest for the month of January and one of our co-hosts that are going to make a dramatic entrance this January. So, starting off with sea legs, we need people that know what they're doing. Unfortunately, I've been seeing a lot of errors. You know, you can't combine a force without a leader. And in this effort that we're doing, 
Of course, the leader is President Donald J. Trump. But right now, he's also a victim of a theft that's in progress. So therefore, he needs a lot of people to come to his rescue. But the disorganization is amazing. What am I talking about? Well, recently one of the congressmen filed a lawsuit against Vice President Pence. Basically saying, well, you can go ahead and pick the winner of the election. And it it mustered and fustered in the press for several days only for uh, Vice President Pence to basically tell the judge you can uh, go ahead and kill that uh, lawsuit. And uh, from then on the effort started dying. Some of the background on that, they said, well, Thomas Jefferson did it but different circumstances. And this is what I'm talking about. You, you've got everybody who says they're ready for battle. They got the helmet on, their musket. And without anybody saying, get ready, stand by, be prepared to defend yourself, and fire, they're shooting anyway. They're shooting. They're not waiting. And this is a problem. So we need people that know what they're doing. Fast approaching is January 6th. Who knows what's going to happen that day. But what I can say is that they expect patriots and Americans that are concerned about what's happening to gather course not everybody's going to gather because they're too busy scaring the hell out of you that you'll die instantly of coronavirus for even thinking about attending such an event but people will show up and I believe that January 6th will be a very very long day I can't tell you what the outcome will be But I can only tell you what's occurred so far. And what's occurred so far is, as the nose on your face, it is plain as day that this election has been robbed. Mathematically, you could figure this out. And evidence is pouring in. What is evidence? Anything that's on an affidavit that you have sworn that that occurred. There are thousands of them. They are tapes, videotapes of actual felonies being committed. There are votes that are appearing even as, as recently as a couple of days. It is a sideshow of humongous proportions But we're told by the media, there's nothing for you to see here. And that's a shame. So January 6th will bring an outcry from both sides. One to say, enough already, we're going to take control. And another one that says, you ain't taking anything because you're attempting to steal it. Trouble sees ahead. We need to be prepared. We need to have sea legs and not wobble while rough seas come towards us. It's time to uh, present the list of who's naughty and nice. And that should be done right after January 6th. All these low-life congressmen and senators, swamp rats that will become obstructionists on the 6th. 
I'm not going to mention names now because they're not that important. But we do need to compile a list. Why are we compiling a list? To make sure that those fools we never see again as we can vote them out when it's time. But that's not my congressman and that's not my senator. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be. All that the true Americans in that community will need from you and from me is a small donation and support wherever we can give it to make sure we can usher these idiots right out the door. Where do we sail from here? Well, we've got a lot of things that we got to get organized. It's not only about social media. It's we've got to get banks ready that are friendly banks. Why would we have to get banks ready, Alpha? Well, if crazy Uncle Joe gets in and Camilla... They are going to come after our guns with the fake Mexican Beto. And as they attempt to do that, we might have the ability to buy guns. People might start buying guns. And sometimes banks say, no, we won't allow a credit card transaction, for example, to purchase a gun. Those banks need to be dealt with immediately. But before we deal with them, we need to identify friendly pro-Second Amendment banks that's on the way. And that's only an example of a ton of work that's ahead. The hearty list on RaiderCopNation.com is still being worked on. I should. Expect to have it up and running by the end of January. And there you will see a list of people fighting for this country. I know that there's maniacs on the left that say these people are nuts. They're crazy. But we're going to talk about the crazies in a minute. But I'm not going to allow the theft to go down that easy. So we spoke about banks, and we got to keep our eye on all banks. Banking is going to be a big issue under a Biden administration. They're putting the squeeze on us, locking us down, making us lose our jobs, and they're going to squeeze these banks. Now now they're going to squeeze the banks. They're going to continue squeezing us for our guns, as I said prior, and for other civil liberties that they're going to get away with if you don't have a voice. It's time now to look ahead. Who I have one concern, and that concern is mostly about conservative voices, people that are talking heads, whether they're on television or they have a radio, how they constantly are just swimming upstream and don't have the intelligence to evaluate a bad decision. And an example of what I mean by that is what I just said about uh, Vice President Pence. Remember the Bongino three-day rule? A lot of people violated it. Oh, we got it. We were going to win. We a victory. Three days later, Pence is saying, no, 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 no. Take, take my name off that lawsuit. So we need to do the three-day rule. And some of these talking heads in the conservative cycle are completely out of control trying to justify everything. Some things need to be called. It's a stupid idea. Go sit down. Get in the back of the line. Okay? That's that's called leadership. And get and get ready and prepared to defend yourself. Either way, 
the left has been mighty quiet since the 3rd of November. And I think they're getting ready. So we need to get ready. Whatever happens, happens. You feel froggy? Leap. See what happens. It is not going to be an easy call what happens. The president has given it his all. And it's unfortunate that there are millions of Americans that just don't understand that this is a fight for the Constitution and a fight for your country. That they actually believe that the current president is an obstructionist and the problem. But scripture warns us of this and it basically says that in the final days, people will regard what is good, bad, and what is bad, good. And those are perfect examples. Recently, I saw a story that was actually three or four months old. Of course, I never saw it on the news because it was stifled. It was stepped on. It was uh, put under the mattress. And... Rudy Giuliani recently blew the whistle on it. And it's about $5.3 billion that are missing that were sent from the United States government to Ukraine. And the government of Ukraine started investigating because where is that money? They later find out that there's billions of it. About $3 billion are missing. The rest of it's already been stolen. So they want to give a good accountability of what occurred so the American government knows and they can continue getting financing. But Barry Obama and Uncle Joey, on the way out of their administration, told the Ukrainian officials, don't worry about it. No biggie. And it left a lot of people scratching their heads. Now, very quickly... The way the $5.3 billion were transferred, they're wired, but not directly to the country. They're wired to a company that filters the money to Ukraine. And sadly and surprisingly, George Soros has something to do with those companies. George Soros has something to do with the state attorney maybe in your neighborhood. There's something not right happening in this country. And we all need to wake up. Up next, finally, episode 177, we give thanks, finally, what we give thanks for. And it's going to be uh, a little bit after the new year, but we want to uh, talk about giving thanks. And that's Im- that's important. That's going to be January 6th. Imagine that. I'll probably be doing, be, will be doing the podcast probably the day before or maybe even on the 6th. While the United States of America is burning, I could be giving praise and thanks to God. So look forward to that. And um, on some other program notes as I close it out today, because this is only a short video. I mean, podcast, I'm sorry. When you're old, the video and the A-track and cassette, they all mean the same thing. So you need to catch up if you're young. Um, we have a guest for the month of January, and we're going to have one of our spectacular co-hosts coming back and uh, our guest is going to be January 13th we're going to have the Dominican law enforcement officers of Florida and uh, we we did a couple of podcasts a while back and we spoke about the clubs and stuff like that so I extended an invitation to them they're up and coming and uh, it is an honor that have them here and discuss a little bit about what they're about and what they're aspiring to do and how we can help. 
And then our co-host, Kilo Sierra, is back. And whenever Kilo Sierra is back in action, that means we're going to talk about guns. So the lineup is January 27, CCW Defense Against a Mob. Okay, mob. You might be seeing that on the 6th, too. February 10th, we're going to talk about guns with me and Kilo. We're just going to shoot the breeze about guns. And February 17th, red dot system. Why not? Why not? Why don't cops have red dot systems on all their guns? Might not be the answer you think it is. So that's going to be an interesting episode to listen to. And March 10th, we're going to be talking about subcompact clocks. Clock, 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 clock. The clock has not died yet. And we're keeping it alive. Folks, you, we are living in some difficult times, but difficult and tough people make it. And no matter how bad you might feel things are, a lot of Americans have been through worse. And we need to persevere through and navigate through all these things that are occurring. We have lunatic left-wing governors locking down states where you can see uh, just two states as an example, Florida and Texas, and the media is just dying that the numbers of coronavirus infections and deaths go up in Florida, but they just don't. And if it goes up a Tenth of a decimal, the, the headline news, them screaming into a microphone, another dead body in Florida. But the truth is we're way down. Why? Why the difference? What's going on? And is this just, is this coronavirus thing just the same equivalent to the flu? Or we're going to be listening to this for the next 10 years. Wear a mask, wash your hands, you can't shake hands, you can't have family gatherings, you have to close at this time. Huh? When do we wake up and we use some common sense into what is real and what is not? I knew a bad guy that used to get arrested a lot that he used to say, you don't know common And when people didn't really understand what he said, he would repeat it again. You don't know common. And uh, what he was talking about was common sense. And that's the truth. A lot of people don't know common. As always, it is my honor and pleasure to be your host on Raider Cop Podcast. Continue to pray for yourself because without you in the game, we have nothing. Continue to pray for your family, for your community, for the law enforcement agencies that serve you. And most importantly, continue to pray for the United States of America. This is Alpha Mike. Happy New Year. And may the Lord's blessings rain upon you beyond imagination in 2021. I'm out.